The pain felt by Ginning's family lives on. Her closest friends say they're still angry. WGXA's Malcolm Johnson spent time with the family at Washington Park as they had a picnic in celebration of Lauren's life. That's right, Amir. I did spend time with that family, and they told me that every day since Lauren's death has been filled with highs and lows, even today, as many of them traveled from Maryland to walk into the courtroom here in Macon, expecting a long, drawn-out trial. They ended the day in celebration, which they say is exactly what Lauren would have wanted. For the parents of Lauren Giddings, today's decision by Stephen McDaniels to plead guilty in the murder of their daughter doesn't stop the pain. A lot of people use the word closure. There will never be closure. But it does provide relief. We won't have to endure the pain of sitting through a long trial. Didn't want to drag it out any longer. You know, we don't want him in our thoughts any longer. Family and friends met at Washington Park for a picnic. The park where Lauren would walk her dog Butterbee every day. And gatherings like this picnic have helped the family get through their loss. The hardest part is a day to day thing. You just, um, it's not just that our sister was killed, she was our friend. She would have been my kid's aunt. She, you know, we would have called her on holidays, or she would have been home with us holidays, call her on a daily basis. We would G chat almost 15 times a day. Um, so it's not like, they just took this person like that was a part of our daily lives. For the friends of Giddings, who would have turned 30 last Friday, just getting to this point has been difficult. It's been a nightmare. I mean, it's been um, two years, nine months, and 22 days since they found her torso in a flip-top trash can behind those apartments. And um, we've been living a nightmare ever since. And it's, you know, today doesn't end it. Nothing's going to end it. Lauren's best friend, Kristen, is an attorney. She's represented the Giddings family in a civil suit for wrongful death that was filed in federal court. Should the death penalty have been issued today? Yes. Absolutely no question. If any case ever cried out for the death penalty, this case does. Miller did not speak in the courtroom, but her message for McDaniels is clear. Have fun in prison, and I hope you die there. As for the family, they will continue to stay positive with love and support from those closest to them. Today is a very sad day. Um, but we're going to celebrate Lauren. The Giddings family says this may not be the climactic ending people may have expected, but it's the right ending. Reporting live from studio, Malcolm Johnson, WGXA.